Good morning. So, we've hit our first real sort of sticking point, real sort of problem. So I think I've told you before, that in every single wall, at every single level, there's a thin bar of metal that stretches throughout the wall. It's tied in each end with a bar, so it's basically pulling each wall together. It's a tie strap. Now this tie strap is in the way from us getting the floor level. We didn't want to, but we're gonna to have to cut the tie beam. But what we're gonna do is cut it and weld it back onto this steel. So basically this whole steel becomes the tie beam as well. And seeing as we've got the welder here, we're gonna weld each, the end of each eye beam to the wall as well. There's a little bar in the wall and then everything's tied together. Everything's strong, everything's pulling in the right direction. Right, let me update you. We're a bit delayed today because we had a specialist come to sell basically the slates for the roof to talk me through what they can provide and all the different things. Anyway, that's delayed things. But we've kind of been trying to streamline the process down with cutting the beams and putting them up. So we're going for a record time in this last section. Take it down so the weights. Can 
Ende. Ja. The floor down there is complete. All the beams, all the steel floorboarded. This floor, we've got two halves, all the steel. This section is gonna have to be left out so we can crane up the stuff for here. Now we're just craning up two I-beams. Still waiting on the two Cs. We're gonna crane them up. We're gonna get the lifter up here. We're gonna take these out, put fresh ones back in and put all the wood in the middle and that middle bit may be a tomorrow job, but that's as far as we can get in these two weeks. But we are gonna reach the top. really wanting to twist. Well, it's still not lifting that, that way. way. Yeah, we're still wanting to go that way now. Yeah, but I'm still not lifting that, no? That way. Don't you want it to twist that way? Twist. Well, I'm still not lifting that, that way. You yeah, were still wanting to go that way now. Yeah, but I'm still not lifting that, no? That way. Whoa! So you want it to twist that way. Last bit of steel to come out in this side. And obviously we've saved the worst for last, like makes no sense. It's quite bowed, there's a lot of wood still stuck in it. For safety, we wanted to just take it down in one piece instead of cutting it and not knowing where the weight is. It's a bit of a brown trouser situation. Flash your mind, you should be clear to go down. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. I'm in.
God, I lifted him on my own neck. <laughs> Push me back. We have reached the top. What an achievement. I told you we'd get here in two weeks. Now, it is about to severely thunderstorm, so we can't glue these in place. The glue would, would just wash out. So that's gonna have to be in a few days when everything's calmed down, but they're all leveled. We've spent a lot of time leveling them out and we've got the steel ready to put the middle section in. So that is all three floors prepped and ready to go back in. What a, what a thing. So the bottom floor is complete. The second floor has got the steel in. We're ready to put the wood in, but we can't do that until we've got everything we need up to this level. These steels are in, ready for the wood to go to the center. And we're just waiting for the outer two steels to arrive. And then this floor can be put in as well. When you think about how long that side took to come together. All right, there was a lot of stuff going on in between and there was a lot of repair work as well. But that whole process from starting to put the floors in to getting the, the attic floor in, it was about six months. And we've done the same thing here in two weeks. Going too quick. I have, I think, nearly killed Nick, he keeps saying, with doing this, so... Yeah, we can't keep this pace up forever. But the fact we achieved this is so good. And it's a fact as well that me and Nick are so on the same page and we work so well together and know the project so well that we've been able to just get this far so quickly, you know? And hopefully we've got lessons to learn from this side as well, you know, which will make other things go even quicker. Yeah, it'd be nice to get all these floors in finished it's really not far away now anyway i hope you've enjoyed racing to the top of the chateau again and i will see you all in a few days <laughs>